Hi, my name is Riken Fuller, and I have the esteemed privilege of interacting with UNC Campus Rec's Beating Heart, our club sports program. Tonight, pop culture meets athletic event as Quidditch, known here as Quad Ball, comes to Hooker Field. Stay tuned for some interviews and some high-flying fiction depiction as our Week 2 Sportlight shines on Quad Ball. This is Quad Ball Club, um, but everyone knows it's Quidditch Club. And I got interested in it just because it's a really weird, random sport. It was like I saw them in the club fair and I was like, I have to try this at least once just to say that I've done it. You know, being transferred a new student at UNC, just kind of like the freshman experience, like I hit the ground and I was like, I need to find new people, new things to do, new places to explore. It's like Quad Ball is definitely something to explore. Uh, and everyone's been super inviting, super kind. Um, absolutely feel at home here, lots of friends, uh, which has been excellent. And it's really been like a feature of my UNC experience this first semester. So the biggest, the most obvious relationship between this game and Quidditch as seen in the Harry Potter world is that uh, we're running around on brooms, but not actual brooms, because that would be maybe a little bit dangerous, a little bit unwieldy, and a little bit expensive. Uh, what we use is essentially just PVC pipes, which we run around with um, at all times all the time you can't get off your broom for any reason and it does look silly we know it looks silly but it also presents a lot of interesting challenges how do you run with a pvc pipe between your legs how do you catch a ball while running while keeping that broom between your legs and that kind of mental game is really interesting score on the signature three hoops here which is another thing that you don't really see in any other sport there's always like one basket one goal here you have three options you have three times as many things to defend there's just so much going on in this game um like mentally strategically that makes it really exciting to play yeah we don't fly on brooms but it's also um it's full contact in the movie it's a pretty vicious game it, it can be out here um it's co-ed um, I always describe it as like some handball and some dodgeball, maybe a little bit of soccer. It's everything and I think that's why it's called quad ball. Yeah, we have four balls, but it's like a combination of like so many sports. I um, found uh, Quidditch, but it's called quad ball now, last year at a sports club fair. I really, I knew I wanted to come in here and still be athletic at UNC and these people were so welcoming. They're like the best community. I They help me find friends, even connections. Such an open and accepting community. LGBTQ+, boys, girls, females, doesn't matter what you identify as. Everyone comes together and just plays a sport. And that's why I keep coming out here. I feel so accepted, so loved, and I get to have a bunch of fun. We are a real sport. <laughs> we are competitive. Where we have all different types of people out here from athletic to people who've never played sports before. It's a very open community and you should just give it a shot and you may just like it. You have people from all different walks of life of Carolina just like coming together and investing in something beautiful and I really like that. It's really enhanced my time at Carolina because it's given me a time to really engage in school spirit and representing my school. I was never like a very sporty kid, you know, growing up, so I never had the experience of like competing against other schools or witnessing the stands or you know being part of that life and I remember going up against UVA and Coastal Carolina and UNC Wilmington and just every time I went up about those people just feeling like this Tar Heel pride you know, within me like this this desire to sort of prove myself to my team and to my school and sort of represent my school I sort of bought into that mentality of like you're this one thing forever but coming to Carolina I'm like you know I've always been into books and you know, Star Wars and Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, but you know, I could I could be a sports person if I want to. I can go out and exercise. I can do this if I want to. I don't have to just be one thing. It's sort of a weird thing, Quidditch, because it's sort of a confluence of these two very different spaces. Like you have on one hand you have like this sort of bookish side of like reading the Harry Potter books and liking the lore and also on the other you have this like athletic side and I think that's very unique you know and I think that's part of what adds to the appeal of Quidditch there's something for everyone here definitely and you don't even have to be a big fan of the books to join you can just join because it looks fun some of these niche clubs it's you know if you don't fight for them we won't have them anymore and I think this is just a message that you know if you're part of like these smaller groups or like these more uh, special interest clubs on North and in UNC, you know, to make sure you come to practice and you do meetings and you 
now you, then you got to take on a little more responsibility so we keep adding to this rich tapestry that you know is life at Carolina. Well there you have it. No need to read between the lines because the writing is on the wall for Club Quad Ball. A fun and inclusive environment that shows just why club sports matter so much. It's been a privilege covering this week's Club Sport Light and until next time, I'm Rankin Fuller, UNC Campus Rec.